This is LTX2. Rick, I told you to close that goddamn door after you. Fuck the door, look what I found. Is this what I think it is? AI video generation has just taken a massive step forward. The latest open source audio visual generation platform from Lightrix. If you wanna explore it yourself, you can check out the official link. I've added it at the top right of the screen. One of the biggest upgrades with LTX2 is that it generates audio and video together inside a single unified pipeline. That means dialogue, sound effects, background, ambience, and timing are all created at the same time as the visuals. There's no need to generate audio separately or sync it later. Everything is designed to stay aligned from the start. Visually, LTX2 brings a huge jump in overall quality. We now get high resolution output up to 4K, smoother motion, cleaner transitions between frames, and much better temporal consistency. Characters stay more stable, camera movement feels more natural, and long shots hold together far better than earlier models. LTX2 also gives creators far more control over motion, composition, and camera behavior. You can guide how scenes evolve instead of relying purely on randomness. And on top of that, the entire project is fully open source. The model weights, inference code, and tools are publicly available, which means the community can experiment, improve, and build on top of it freely. Comfy UI already has an official pipeline for LTX2, which makes things much easier. With this setup, we can do text to video, image to video, and even hybrid workflows. On this page, you'll find full documentation, how to load the models, where to place checkpoints, how to configure the digital models, and everything else you need to get started properly. In terms of length and performance, LTX2 supports 10 second clips at 25 frames per second, and it can scale all the way up to two minutes for longer generations. For comparison, WAN 2.2 was limited to 16 frames per second, while LTX2 starts at 25 frames per second and can even push 30 frames per second, which makes a big difference for faster actions and smoother motion. We're also provided with detailed prompt examples character guidelines, what to write, what to avoid, audio formatting, and visual structure. Everything is clearly explained. And yes, there is a dedicated image to video model, which opens up a lot of creative possibilities. We can generate full HD videos, which already look very clean, and in certain setups, even push higher frame rates, up to 60 frames per second. Depending on your configuration, frame counts like 257 frames and beyond are possible, making this very flexible for different types of projects. Now let's head over to the GitHub page and take a closer look at what's included. Here you can see LTX2 listed as the main model. All available checkpoints are shown here. The FP8 checkpoint, the distill checkpoint, safe tensor files, upscalers, and even LoRa's. You also get optimization tips, flash attention settings, memory optimizations, and detailed prompting guidance. Next, let's look at the Comfy UI integration. As you can see here, all the required nodes and files are already available. LTX2 is now built directly into the Comfy UI core, which is a big deal. That means no complicated custom nodes or unstable setups. Everything works directly inside Comfy UI. Now, let's jump into Comfy UI and look at the actual workflow. So over here, this is the workflow we're using. This is the checkpoint, the FP819 billion parameter model, along with the VAE and the audio text encoder. You can find all of these files, also link the Hugging Face page in the description so you can download everything easily. We're using full HD resolution, a length of 210 frames, and a frame rate of 24 frames per second. Both values need to match. Otherwise, the audio and video will drift out of sync. Here's the prompt we're using. A man in a black tuxedo standing motionlessly, followed by the dialogue, La Donna a Mobile. You can read the full prompt on screen. I'm not great with Italian, but you get the idea. We're using a CFG of 3.6. 
though you can experiment with 3.5 or even 4, depending on your style. The seed is fixed. And for sampling, we're using Euler Ancestral with the scheduler. This is the video we got from the first stage of the workflow. La donna è mobile qual più mal vento. Just like with LTX1, we're also using a second sampling stage to improve detail and upscale the result. Here you can see the CFG, seed, and other settings again. We're using the VAE decoder tilt, though you can switch the normal decoder if you prefer. Here's the final video output. La donna è mobile quel primo mal vento. Now let's try another example, this time focusing on text to video with dialogue. Here's the prompt. You can pause the video and read it. In this example, I specifically wrote a short conversation to test clarity, emotion, and timing. As you can hear, the voice quality here is noticeably better. A damn door after you. Fuck the door, look what I found! Is this what I think it is? Rick, I told you to close that goddamn door after you. Fuck the door, look what I found! Let's also listen to the second sampling stage. As you can see, the lip sync is actually very solid. Rick, I told you to close that goddamn door after you. Fuck the door, look what I found! Is this what I think it is? Which is one of the most important things for dialogue-based videos. Now, let's push things further and try a longer clip around 480 frames, which comes out to roughly 20 seconds at full HD, 1920 times 1080. Here's the prompt. We're using a young African woman wearing a futuristic transparent outfit and the rest of the settings remain mostly the same. Euler Ancestral 3.6 CFG fixed seed. I've also enabled camera control and Allura because I want the camera motion to move upward. Let's see how it performs. As you can see, the upward camera motion works quite well. Rick, I told you to close that goddamn door after you. Forget the door. Look what I found. Is this what I think it is? Now let's move on to image to video. Text to video already looks strong, so now we'll animate a still image. We're using a resolution of 1080 times 1920, around 120 frames, which is about five to six seconds. You can push this up to 20 seconds as well, like I showed earlier. Here's the prompt we're using, along with the same LoRa setup. Once again, we're guiding the motion upward. This is the first sampling result, and this is the second sampling result. You might notice a small difference in the face when the camera zooms in, but when the motion slows down or zooms out, the face remains very consistent. I've tested several more examples with LTX2, and overall, face consistency is actually quite strong. So with that, let's wrap up the video right here. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.